Using Perfect Photo Suite 8 as a standalone is extremely easy. To open the program on a Mac, first you'll need to navigate to your Applications folder. Once inside, scroll down and you'll find the Perfect Photo Suite 8 folder. When I double click, up above is the Perfect Photo Suite 8 application. From here, I'll just double click and it'll open up the program for me. When you're on a Mac, you can also easily place the photo suite here inside your dock. This is a great way to access it quickly without having to go to your applications folder every single time you want to open the program. When opening the perfect photo suite from a Windows computer, first you'll navigate to your start menu, then you'll select all programs, choose the on one software folder, and then inside you'll see the perfect photo suite 8 folder. From here you'll just double click perfect photo suite 8 and it will launch the program. Once inside the photo suite, it'll either place you inside browse or perfect layers. First, let's start with how to open an image into the suite and edit it from perfect browse. All I need to do is select my photo and I can go up to the file menu and choose edit in a specific module or I can go to the top right hand corner of my screen to my module selector and click on the program I'd like to edit this image in. To open an image from perfect layers, you can go up to the file menu and select open. From here, I can navigate through the open images dialog box and select things like shared networks, specific devices attached to my computer, and tons of other folders. When I'm ready and I have an image in mind that I'd like to edit, all I need to do is select it and click open. You'll see that the same dialog will pop up allowing me to select things like whether I'd like to edit a copy or an original of my image, as well as the advanced copy options. And when I'm done and click OK, it'll place my image here inside perfect layers. You also have the ability to open an image from the Files tab on the left-hand side of your screen. You'll see right now I have the On One Samples folder selected, which you can see on the top left-hand corner in the folder tree. When I open up that folder tree, I can go through and I can choose a specific folder of images I'd like to take a closer look at. When I find an image that I'd like to edit, all I need to do is double click, select my options, and click OK. When navigating here inside the suite as a standalone, you can edit with multiple different modules. When working with the Perfect Photo Suite in Lightroom, there are lots of different ways that you can access the suite and edit your images. First, there are two different ways that you can launch the program. Let's start up by going up to the File menu and scrolling down to Plugin Extras. Here you'll see all of the different modules from the suite, as well as the ability to edit in the Perfect Photo Suite 8 as a whole. You also have the ability of going up to your Photo menu and scrolling down to Edit In. From here, you'll see a select number of modules. You won't have the ability to access perfect mask or perfect layers from this menu. This exact same edit in menu can also be found when you control click or right click on an image and scroll down to edit in. This will be the exact same menu that we just saw up in the photo menu. Now let's talk about the differences between these two. By going through the edit in menu with the select number of modules that you have access to, you can only edit your images in one single plugin at a time. Taking images from Aperture and placing them into the photo suite is extremely easy. There are two different ways to access the suite. The first is by going up to your Photos menu and scrolling down to Edit with Plugin. From here, you'll see all of the individual plugins like Perfect Black and White, Perfect Portrait, Perfect Effects, as well as the entire suite as a whole so you can edit with multiple modules. You can also control click or right click on your image and you'll see the Edit with Plugin menu is here as well. They're the exact same menus, just in different locations. When accessing the Perfect Photo Suite from Photoshop, there are lots of different ways that you can get to individual plugins. The first is by accessing the On One panel on the right-hand side of your screen. If you don't automatically see this panel, you'll go up to the Window menu, down to Extensions, and make sure that On One has been checked. When you're ready to take an image into the suite, all you need to do is select the module you'd like to edit with, click on it once, and from here, up at the top, you'll see that there's an open Perfect Effects 8. By double-clicking, it'll take my image into the selected module, 
and I can edit my photo from here. Another way to access the perfect photo suite is by going up to your file menu and scrolling down to automate. From here, you'll see multiple different modules that you can access. What's important to note about the automate menu is that you have the ability to create Photoshop actions that include the perfect photo suite. This is a great option when you're doing a lot of heavy editing through Photoshop. Here inside Photoshop Elements, there's one way that you can access the photo suite. All you need to do is go up to the File menu, scroll down, and select Automation Tools. Here I can choose whichever module I'm interested in editing my image through. 